Hey baby, I'm home. Has everything been okay while I was gone? It has. That's good. The last thing I want is for anyone to do anything to while I'm not here. So, what have you been up to? Oh, right. I guess there isn't really too much you can do when you're kind of chained up like that. I know, I know, I know, the shackles aren't exactly the most comfortable, but I have to attach them to the wall because I honestly don't know if you're going to run or leave the house and, well, it's too dangerous outside for you and I have to keep you safe. Like, if something ever happened to you, I honestly don't think I could live anymore knowing that I didn't prevent it or really even just try to make anything different, and that's kind of why I have you here. I know it seems a little excessive, but I really, really don't want anything happening to you. You're literally like my whole life, basically, like, without you, I probably wouldn't even want to live anymore. And I know that sounds a little extreme, but it's true, you're literally what keeps me going. Hey, 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 don't, don't cry. I know you like going out, but here in the house, everything is made for you, and it's safe, and you don't have to worry about anything. I know you want to go out, but it's just not like, think about it for like, the example, the sun, the sun can burn your skin and give you sunburn or even worse, cancer, and we don't want that. Or... What if some crazy person kidnaps you and puts you in their house? Oh, wait, uh, never mind that one. Um, what about if somebody tries to rob you? It's not safe out there. We can't have you going out. Babe, here, I'll undo the shackles, but I want you to know that all the doors are locked. And I have the key, and you're not going out, okay? Okay? Good. So let me take that off of you. There, doesn't that feel much better now that you can move wherever you want? I mean, you had a few books here to read and some food and water, so... It couldn't have been that boring, right? You're not exactly a fan of reading? I know you're not a fan of reading, but what more can I really give you? Like, I don't want to give you a phone because, well, I worry that you might call somebody and, you know, do something that would be bad for you. And you think it would probably help you, but it really wouldn't, so. Once I trust you a little bit more, then we can maybe get around to giving you some technology. Are you a fan of games, perchance? I could always hook up one of those old game consoles I have lying around, like... I think I have a Sega Genesis or Super Nintendo around, back when that was a thing. You'd rather that than reading a book? Okay, I can, I can set that up for you. But right now I just want to spend time with you. I just got off of work and... Well... First thing I'd like to do is see you. Like, seriously. Without you, I would be really upset. And honestly, I don't know what I'd be doing right now. If anything. That's why I need you to be safe here. Like, I know, I know, I know, it's very excessive, but... Babe, the outside world is very risky. Here, you want me to name some more examples? What if you got into a car crash or somebody hit you while you were walking on the sidewalk? Like, those are just a few examples and those could be life or death. And I don't want you getting hurt or even worse, dying. So you have to understand, babe. It's for your own good. And I also, not sure if you noticed. You noticed, okay, well... I did break up all the windows just to make sure that nobody can break in. And also, make sure that no sunlight can 
maybe damage your skin. I know, I know. Obviously, we need a little bit of sunlight for vitamin D, but I don't really want anyone breaking in, so there is one spot in the house that has a window that you can get vitamin D from, but it is barbed wired and it has um, bars going up and down through it, so if anyone was to break it, they wouldn't be able to get through. And that spot is mainly for us in the living room, so when we're sitting together and maybe cuddling or doing whatever we want, we can get some sunlight together. How does that sound? We can do that right now, actually. You don't want to? Okay. Oh, babe. I know you're upset here. It's kind of like always a dark room and there's no sunlight and you're kind of just forced and chained the wall when I'm not here. And I, I know that's very, well, not exactly a great life, but just think you're, you're safe and you don't have to worry about anything because I'll pay the bills and well, when I come back, we can do stuff together. If you seem really upset, is there something do you want to tell me? I know you don't like it here, but it's for your own good. Just, you have to work with me, babe. I'm trying my best, okay? You honestly aren't giving me much to work with anyways. What about, um, board games? Would you want to play a board game? No? Hmm. Well, is there any suggestions you have then? You want to leave? Babe, you know that's not going to happen. You really mean too much to me, and if I let you leave, I know it will probably be the last time I ever see you. I know, I know, I know you don't like me now, but in the future I know you'll love me. What do you mean you'll never love me? Never say never. I know you're very upset and emotional, so I'll go ahead and just leave and I'll come back if you're feeling better, okay? Is there anything you want me to bring you when I come back? No? Okay, well, babe, I know this isn't exactly the most fantastic living space, but hear me out. I think it's for the best of us, and mainly for you, because you're safe, but yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and I'll leave you, and hopefully you feel better when I come back. Alright, bye, babe.